Good night. I mean, same kind of concept of what we were talking about, right? Death Prophet, um, Beastmaster, like, we're just talking about get yourself good team fight, good pushing power, and end this game before our quarter gets too much of a threat. Yeah, and Beastmaster is still good. You could also maybe pick uh, Brew is pretty good for the team, but you just blink in and just create chaos, lift the doom. Um, Five seconds remaining. The last picks. I think they're gonna pick a Yapsu uh, uh, hero, hopefully. And for MSS, what would he pick? No, no, no I'm mean snaking. Sorry. Um, and they do want to end this. I still like Beastmaster. They ban Clock. Yeah, feeling like this is Clock is good versus Arc Warden and Sky, and it's good versus Doom too, actually. Snaking has played a lot of Night Soccer Cordo, so it's yeah. Five it's very open for them what they're gonna pick here. Dire team pick. They're the ones who actually ban Death Prophet. Could go a little all in with uh, Nature's Prophet support. They want. MSS has played it a, D a idea. little bit. Probably it's not doesn't really fit their style, but. The tree and get all the towers, remaining. super good in laning. And you just, you want a support that can kind of deal with the Arc Warden split push, right? Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, it's also, you can just ult out the waves a bit, but mainly, mainly you just get good lanes and then you, you want to end this game pretty early if you can. Almost, uh, no sanking, no clockwork. Still kind of tuss, but I don't think that's super good. But I do think you want uh, so like four Beastmaster. position. Come in the corner now. Team secrets. Uh, something random or beast. Beastmaster. Just get the normal beast. All right. No way secrets saw that come. All right. So what do we do? Do we do uh, Skywrath Mage core and? I like core a lot. That wait, he's playing as a DK. Yeah, D yeah. I'm not sure if you really beat DK. He's got a lot of region. Ten seconds remaining. Uh, it's hard to say that here. Uh, he, he does Five a lot of damage. Uh, I played this hero with in, in or with pubs, and he just snowballs so hard. And oh, Monkey King. Monkey King. All right, so we do get the normal Skyward support and Monkey King mid against Dragon Knight. So All that right. means a rough time for Luna in these team fights. Gonna have to get inside of that Monkey King ultimate. Tough to be able to push high ground for sure. And they did get buffed, and they're pretty much all physical damage in their lineup. Yeah. And they can run. TB, uh, which is going to need to get this game for sure. Then you've got the mid matchup of yeah. Monkey King versus DK, which is just free Jingu stacks all the time. I don't think it's that one sided at all. Like it used to be when Monkey came out, this here was unbelievably broken. Yeah. But it's been nerfed so much now, and DK, he. He's not going to get sewn out by Monkey King. He's, he's going to get decent farm. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% on top of this Monkey King. I'm a little bit skeptical on that. But we're going to see an Arc Warden game. Quite something. Yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting. I'm thinking about how the, like, uh, how the Arc Warden can help protect the Monkey King with his bubble. Right, so you throw down Wukong's command, yeah. and you're naturally going to be targeted by the enemy team, or they're going to run out. But if they try and target you, then Arc Warden can throw that uh, the magnetic field over you. And then anybody melee is dealing with a Monkey King with Jingo Masteries, so... Some, uh, some interesting synergy opportunities for Team Secret here in this game, too. Looking to be able to close out the series, make it a 2-0, and head into that upper bracket. Joining uh, Virtus Pro, Newbie, Liquid, and TNC. We already got themselves there yesterday. Yeah, and this this uh, Arc Warden is X back to this game. Normally, you, I believe you just go Midas, and uh, usually go the range uh, Pike as well. Those maybe Maelstrom, BKB, and it takes a while for him to get strong. That's the problem with this hero. He's yeah. got good abilities though, but. You just want to farm with this hero non-stop. Also get travels, is it necessary on this hero?
laning ward put out for the uh, Nine Stalker Beastmaster. Got a little idea of what's going to be happening. It looks like they're going to run the Beastmaster up in the top lane, put the Dragonite side lane. Luna meant to counter Monkey. Not a MSS. huge fan. Will take a lot of damage, but he did manage to get the bounty rune still, though. BGJ Storm lose out on one of them. Secret take three. Isn't it? That's a DK off lane now. It shouldn't be that hard for uh, Ace now. It could have been a lot scary if they had another hero like Beastmaster there. Who could out -seize him way harder. And then once it gets night, you could kill him easily, but DK is not the scariest hero. You know, I'm not convinced that uh, Luna does... I mean, I guess you got the new harassment and everything, but your ranges are pretty much the same. Luna is a quote-unquote ranged hero, yeah. but at 330, and Monkey King is the melee hero with 300. <laughs> so, uh, it still feels like Midwan's going to be able to trade out a lot and get those Jingu stacks. Yeah, it's, she's not necessarily going to destroy this lane or anything. Definitely not going to happen. She's not, she's not even going to do well in this lane. So it's, I, I just feel like DK would do way better yeah, than Luna. Yeah, I agree. Because he's got the Q spam and he's got his tanky with Dragon Blood and Luna, we can already see. He's getting smashed. Smashed. Missing CS while using a Lucent Beams to try and secure it. Just about to give Jinga Mastery. Sure enough, mid one. Feeling like uh, he needs that lifesteal. Oh, Resolution's gonna man up. Oh, that is a bad idea though. The lifesteal's gonna be a bit too much. Baiting. So Jesus. hard with the fairy fire there. Most people watching at home is like, why, why didn't you just die? Well, fairy fire is the reason. Yeah. Hopefully our lane for VGJ Storm goes all right bottom because it seems like they're going to lose the other two lanes. And this could be a very one-sided game. Fata sneaks up that Hellbear away from Snake King, claps him, walks away, pulls the creep wave with him. Clap. It's not going to get better for Luna middle either. No. It's going to just get worse. Yeah, he's got level 2 in Jingle Master now. It's almost twice as good. He's got the stack. Boom. 200 damage. But Resolution can keep mid one pretty... Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Bottom. MSS. MSS. Getting close. Body blocked. You are trying to buy him space, but there's a Fire Blast. Just picked up that level 2. Puppy. We'll get your first blood, making good use of this haste rune to get even more harassment damage on it. You are thinking about going for the dive. Not better of it, though. Nope. Fata will be fine. It's a doom. He doesn't need any help in this lane. It's a beast master. They're going to push the lane. He's going to get farm. Yeah. He's super fine. And already it's getting a little bit out of control. You see metal. Again, as you mentioned, it's going to get worse. He's 8 and 0. It's going to get worse. Yeah, with the Absor now, with the concussive shot, Resolution can't really get close. The Warlock's going to come in, offset no. that Skyrath mid. Yeah, he needs help. He yeah. had to call for it. And yeah. So it seems like Snake King's actually going to be the winner of this entire situation. The harassment from Fada, he's actually winning that man fight, uh, thanks in large part to the Warlock's heal. Oh. Axis comes out, and it is enough to be able to finish off Fada. What a player. Midwan taking a lot of damage here. They're going to try and finish him off with the Fatal Bonds. He wisely TPs out, but that's still time out of lane. Meanwhile, Yapso runs down snaking. Good catch with the concussive shot. A little bit greedy. Staying with one health, should just keep you out. That's it's so good that they get the, the Doom, though, because they rotated away from top. And that's actually going to be super hard for him, being there long, because Luna needs help mid. And Warlock needs to make a decision. Do I help middle or do I help top? Because top right now, you look at top. Is that he just has to run away. He can't be in there anymore. Yeah, and you can't lose both lane. of those lanes. You no, know, you have to lose one of them, and they have to make the decision, and he's going top now. Yeah, who do you? Who would you prioritize if you're in his situation? Mm, it's, it's hard to say. I'll probably help top. Because Luna, she'll come back later anyway. Yeah. He's seeing a little bit of both, so that's probably the best. Snaking, turning and fighting. They're going to go for maybe the kill on Yapsor. Meanwhile, Yawar dies from Ace. The axe has only clipped Yapsor once. That might allow him to live here. Fada's going to take a lot of damage, especially with the Fatal Bonds on the creeps. But both of them will survive while our Dragonite and bottom lane wasn't so lucky. Yeah, 
and uh, we saw Warlock just stabilizing the mid lane a little bit. We saw how bad it was, but now pretty good. He's um, almost even. Oh, hopping over. The heroes are diving this tier one. He's going to try and hop in, see if he can catch somebody. SVG looks like the bounty underneath the tower. <laughs> Snakey's still going to be able to pick up the bounty. Mid one slowing down SVG bit by bit. A blast comes in and he'll finish him off with that boundless strike. All right. You get the kill, you lose the bounty, but you get experience. So I, I could live with that trade. I'm all right. But he also had cool? to rotate out of mid, right? Now it's the lane. Yeah. He was already winning pretty heavily. You are is suffering right now. He is feeling the full burn of the Arc Warden now. Fortunately, SVG does come in, give him a little Warlock bump heal. Everywhere right now. He's like, I'm going to heal you guys. Let me heal you. W, W. Yeah. W, W. And with the Dragon Eye, oh, they're actually wrapping into mid one here. No Jingo Mastery Snacks, but Yapsor was right there. Already slowed down MSS. MSS going to have to fly over the trees. Mid one will miss that Primal Spring. <laughs> Give him the chat, Will. You are dead in the bottom lane. Gets a little bit more ignite damage and ace. Just keep right clicking him again, puppy. The ogre magi is such a good hero to be able to dive towers. Tank it all up for the damage dealer to fall behind. Mark Warden's flux is such a powerful spell. If if you're alone and the ogre just starts hitting the DK, he needs to move away from the lane. You flux him and he's he's dead. And that's where the the problem of these mid and top matchups, right, is that. Warlock is everywhere, yes, but we're leaving some of these heroes solo, and there's always an opportunity for a secret in the one versus one core matchup. Hopefully, no. Fada. He's tanky. He does have Scorched Earth already out. Mid one's going to join him. MSS going to be hard pressed to be able to get away from this one. Has to fly over the trees, trying to dodge the boundless strike. That's not going to happen, though. He dies. No boundless strike required. He tried. And we're going to see a good ace game with our Warden here. It's, it's always sad when someone picks a little bit interesting here and that here is smashed in the lane. Yeah. They're like, oh, uh, we don't see the true potential. But we're going to see the true potential of our Warden in this game. Look probably. at his builds. Uh, not going for a early hand of Midas. Uh, not yet anyway. Jump into the middle lane. Luna's going to be caught. Be yeah. It's going more fighting build. That's... Uh, Interesting. Yeah. Ring of Akilla, phase. I'm sure you still go Hannah Midas eventually, but it looks like he wants yeah. to have an it's impact. It's too much value. Yeah. The phase boost is just so powerful right now, and it's greedy to do that. It's more of a pub build. There's three people bottom now. Warlock is not five or six. And Arc Warden is not an easy hero to dive. Between the uh, Spark Wraith giving vision, the magnetic field protecting you underneath the tower. We might see a completely new build on Arc Warden. Yeah. Because we don't see him at all, and that's because, well, he doesn't work well. So maybe he's like, I'll reinvent him. I'll make a new build and play a little bit in pub. It works. It's going to yeah. be a fighting build. Possibly. Level six for the Beastmaster, but he is getting dope underneath the tower. No TP rotations coming out from VGJ Storm. He silenced for now, trying to get back to that tower range and go for the kill onto Skyrath Mage. Managed to get the roar, but Puppy stops him in his tracks. Managed to get the stun before he could get the killing blow on Yapsor. Now a slow down in that mid lane. Ace through one of his Tempest doubles over there. We do see the Midas on our court. If you get double Midas, like you can't, you can't say no to that. It's yeah, it's hard. It's hard. I'd assume he's uh, gonna sell his face boots later on. Maybe just a fighting build to start with. Top again, just diving. Yeah, just non-stop putting pressure on Snaking this time around. He won't have the Primal War to protect himself. And Snaking was given probably one of the better lanes, but now it is all going down the drain. As soon as that Warlock left the lane, he had quite a lot of issues. And, uh, yeah, just keeping top. Again, now TP is on cooldown. That's the worst feeling of all time. He's got six Nidals. So he should look for a gank, smoke somewhere. Probably bottom. They want to deal with Arc Warden to stop his Dying Midas from, from getting too early, so he should definitely smoke bottom now. And that's something, something you should see uh, coming as well from Secret. Okay, he died. What is he doing now? He is level 6. He should have ult. Where is he going? Well, he's smoking bottom. It's a very obvious thing if you if you look at it. So he should back off now. Ace. 
Should just play it safe, especially with Yawar picking up his level six, has that range stun available. No one is top. He should know. No one yeah. is going top. This is and, so obvious. And he's got the spark race already in place to be able to protect himself from any heroes going through that side area. Snake King's going to try and get a bit closer to this tower, but Ace is sitting deep in the trees. They're going to cut down the trees to reveal Ace. He's spotted out, but a CP already coming out from the Doom. Spark Wraith is going to be able to slow down Yuar. And now VGJ Storm, they're the ones in trouble here. See what kind of heroes they can grab. Looks like SVG. He's going to be the one who's very, very dead. Turn around. Primal Roar out, but Midwan's going to be able to jump in. They go straight for the Doom. Onto Luna. Make sure there's going to be no Eclipse into this fight. Pata walks away, healing himself up bit by bit. Hopefully, he'll be able to survive as the rest of VGJ Storm just getting run out. The Dragonite's going to have double Spark Race, slowing him down. The Jingo Mastery popping on the Monkey King. Allow him to heal up to full, so not even the Doom dies. In all of that, VGJ Storm lose almost everyone who attempted to go for a dive onto that tier one tower. Yeah, being run over right now and it's not gonna get better. Yeah, good heroes. Luna is having some really rough times. Not where you want your resolution. And as you said, Doom survived. Getting another tower with it. This is just gonna get worse and worse. And hopefully this encourages Awkward to go more of a fighting build instead of this split push. Which is, which is he's going for, because he's got the, the face boot, so. This here is not weak in fighting. This here is some really good spells if you use them properly. MSS hit by the Primal Spring mid one. Double damage, pretty strong. Yeah. Pretty strong. Yeah, 1600 gold to work with, too. Double slow. Doesn't even know what he's going for. SVG doesn't even know what he's going to do, because he's a level 4 Warlock. And Yapsor is a level 7 Skyrath Mage. They might be tilting a little bit now. The last game to this, that's they're frustrated, that's for sure. Yeah, this score is 15 to 1, and they just got done with a game one that they should have won, but threw away the team secret. They have like no form. Beastmaster's got nothing this game. He's not going to get any Necro or Shadowblade anytime soon. What else? What, what did he got? DK Offlane? He's going Midas. No, thank please. Jesus. Don't go Midas, for the love of God. If you want to lose, you go Midas here on DK. Well, maybe he does want to lose. Uh, he swapped. He, he swapped. Thank all God. Right, all right. He's smart. You are not throwing anymore. We cool. Mask of Madness almost complete for resolution, but he's going to be hard pressed to keep up with the uh, double hand of Midas for Arc Warden. It's gonna be really interesting to see what he goes here. Yeah, he's got his level 10, so he gets the 8% cooldown reduction. It's not a massive amount, but when you've got two of yourself and a hand of Midas, feels pretty good. Smoke right. out behind the tower, yeah, but everyone's good. hidden. Secret is ready for this. And they got the TP in for the Monkey King. This is going to be another bad fight. They get the Doom out onto Snake King. No roar for him. Double hit with a Primal Spring as well. Should be able to catch Night Stalker. No problem. VGJ Storm just keep on running into that brick wall that is the bottom safe lane tower where Secret are just always hidden behind it. They need to prioritize Warlock getting six. He can't sit around on level four. No. They need the golem. That's the only way. Like when Warlock is five compared to when Warlock is six is like a different here. He's so much stronger. So he, he needs that level right now if they're going to fight. He's trying to hide in the trees and soak some experience. Be able to get level, uh, level five at least. Necronomicon is queued up for the Beastmaster. But again, 7,000 gold lead. 13 minutes in, Team Secret putting on quite the show in game two. And yeah, we're getting a Maelstrom build from our Fortnite. I guess he would go Pike maybe after, because he needs a range if you want to hit people. Yeah. Force stuff is really useful as well. Yeah. Push out waves really fast, farms really well. Yeah, it's this is like all normal except the face boots. That's what's confusing because you yeah. normally go uh, boost of travel and just split push, but. Instead, he's just using TP scrolls. Night Stalker, big pickoff on Ace. They're going to pop the Eclipse to make sure he does go down. None of it actually hits Ace, <laughs> but you know, they still get it. That's pretty RNG. But there's going to be revenge for Team Secret. Double damage on the Monkey King. They've run into the Night Stalker. Dismounts from the trees. Yeah, so make a kill streak for him. Bottom lane, Luna catching the doom. No stun available though. If you had Golem, would you use it there? Oh, for sure, right? 
Yeah. A doom kill? That's too tasty. And now he has it. Now they have something to fight with. Level 3 and Fatal Bonds. If they just get that good fight, that's a lot of damage. Yeah. You got so much AoE damage. The team fight is really strong, just so far behind. Maybe the game is changing for VGJ Storm. They've got level 6 on a Warlock. They've doubled their kills in the last minute. Doubled? Doubled. And they're going to try the and... The Warlock ult here. Warlock is important. Get their only tier one tower of the game, but they can't afford for this Beastmaster to get caught out so early. As a Primal War, he's gonna turn around and manage to get it off onto Monkey King. And there is still a Warlock Golem, but at the side, a Dragonite's having to deal with this Arc Warden who's completely slowed him down. He's gonna have to give up his life here. The rest of Seeker are charging forward, hoping to be able to catch more of the heroes. They're gonna turn with the Golem here, see if they can take down Fada. Fada managed to get off a lot of damage on Snake King, might just take out Fada. Won't be able to escape though with his life intact. They trade out one for one. Another hero being caught mid one. Managed to get off the Jingle Mastery. Now with the monkey, he's already out. He's going to be able to hide inside of his ultimate here, and they can't really approach. Resolution trying to get there, jumping onto MSS. MSS turns. Managed to get the kill. A make a kill streak going his way. Puppy on a sliver of HP being run down by Resolution. And maybe it's Team Secret who are throwing the game now. So envious trying to get more and more of these kills and just feed away a bad turnaround fight. Even with that, it seems like they didn't lose much gold at all. Still 7k lead. And yeah. And that MSS monkey jumping on him and just turns around is so close. We got either way right there. 1500 gold, 2300 experience to the favor of EGJ Storm off that game. Meanwhile, Team Secret, no real gold, just a bit of experience for them. Jump forward though. On to that the Dragonite. A that, that's a DK. Just, it's like a. Uh, it's like a maiden just melting there, but yeah. that's a DK. Oh, sure. Power of the Arc Warden and all the magic damage he's putting out now with the uh, Maelstrom. Oof, going Roach while Midas is up. That's a feels bad, man. <laughs> that is a feels bad. Man. Hey, the opportunity for Roshan presents itself. You don't say no. Yeah, but Twitch chat will tie past with Midas. That's true. Grand Cran is going to be very disappointed in you, so. They're gonna just gotta think about the one. real priorities in life, you know? Yeah. I'm Tier 1 tower in top lane might end up going down. Snaking's trying to take it with the help of the Siege Wagon as Roshan falls. Nice deny from Yap. 700 gold, gone. Well played. 700 gold. And now, now Snaking, he did all of that and he was willing, he was probably willing to give up his life for that tower, except it got denied. He's tilting. I will be tilting right now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're uh, we're past the point of tilt for VGJ Storm. They have gone into the deep end. The next item on Arc Warden is gonna see if it's going anything different or just same old, same old. A pike, probably. Yeah, Hurricane Pike, right? This is the next item usually. Make yourself into a bit of a sniper. Nice long range. Push back any of these heroes to try and get on top of you. And these spark rays are just not letting VGJ Storm get close. They're ready to fight here. He's got his ult ready as well. They got ages. There's no. Do they really want to fight here? Yule Scepter immediately pops on MSF. The Spark Wraith laid underneath. Uh, Primal Roy attempted by Beastmaster, but he already gets silenced up. The Eclipse, though, will be able to blow up too. Took out the Tempest double as well as Doom's Life. We'll finish off with the Ogre Magi going down. Double kill for Resolution. They blew everything they had for that. Golem, Eclipse, etc. Definitely well worth it, though. And uh, that fight is completely won because we got our ult off. Doom was just made animation. But a few, uh, a year or two ago, they nerfed his animation. So it's very long now, so he couldn't get the Doom off. Luna gets her ult off. He, she just cleans everyone up. So you definitely need, uh, it's going Dagger, but BKB or Dagger, both preferably, is, is what he's going to need this game. Yeah. And the fights are going to be very different. This, uh... Without being able to pick off the Arc Warden, it feels like even when VGJ Storm do win fights, they still lose out on map control and objectives. All yeah. the lanes are constantly being pushed in. 
the core. It's, it's like not catching a tinker, you know? Yeah. Dyer's bottom tower is under Dyer's attack. Bottom tower has fallen. Monk is farming really well right now. They're going to Desolator. When he gets old, people will die in it. You yeah. can keep them there. Allow them to be able to take towers a bit faster as well. Yeah, they still feel very confident. Even though Luna and I just topped the net worth. That's only Luna. You look at the other two people, it's like, okay, talked about this many times. Resolution cannot solo carry. Slowed him down with a concussive shot. But they can't really chase, especially not during nighttime, not feeling comfortable with that. Pretty big nighttime advantage for VGJ Storm, having both the Night Stalker and the Luna. They are going to be able to still find some heroes, though, and that's going to be Warlock, who ends up going down. Meanwhile, the uh, Arc Warden turning and fighting. He gets dropped. The Absor trying to finish off the Luna, but it's going to be Primal Dward stopped in his tracks. He goes down. We will definitely change that for Warlock if you're VGJ Storm now. Doom's going to be able to throw out onto Luna. He's definitely dead, but Fada, he may still lose out in this fight as Monkey King's going to try and carry it through, going for Snake King, trying to get the Jingu Mastery super fast. We'll be able to chase him down. He does not have the Boundless Strike, so he may lose his life to Yuar here. Give up that Aegis. Can they kill him a second time, though? They're decently tanky. Going to be able to get the instant He's damage dead. on him, and they have a stun coming up. There is a Shrine there, but he won't get to it. A huge win for VGJ Storm. And the Flame. I, I don't know how they're losing these fights. Uh, it, it's because they get caught out with the most farmed here on the on the map. Yep. Arc Warden. This is a problem with his hero. He just... He's almost never with his team because he needs to farm and then he just gets picked off and he gets caught in a super bad fight. And it's like the, the last game, they're just throwing away the lead. It's, this is not good. DK needed it so badly. He was falling behind so much in farm. Getting those kills, he's slowly catching up. But this game is still in favor of Secret. But as soon as Doom gets a BKB, now he's got the dagger. Once he gets that... Luna will be useless. He's gonna need a link in this game, probably. Isn't that uh, supposed to be the thing about Arc Warden, though, is you should always be able to play kind of safe with your actual hero and just play uh, with the Tempest double in some of those scarier areas to farm. Yeah, I mean, that's how, that's how you play it, right? You should, you should never get caught out ideally, but this is what happens sometimes. And he's just going normal build. He's going back to the travel now. I guess uh, the face was is just for the laning face. Seems all right, I guess. Yeah. But only a 5k lead now. 350 health. Big pick up for him and his double. BGJ Storm desperately need objectives, though. Even if they've won a couple fights, they're still 5k gold behind. And part of that is going to be these uh, towers that remain standing. So the Dragonites go for the push by himself. The rest of his team pushes through the jungle. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. And now, now they're just too scared to fight, I think. For, for secret, because they don't have BKBs anymore, or they don't have BKBs now, now they're just almost even. So fighting in now, without BKBs against a Luna Warlock, you you will melt. Yeah, it's, it's you've got to be very careful now, don't, not to throw away even more. That's why uh, Secret playing the high ground. Good sentry laid down. Finds the ward. Steer. Tier 2 being pushed in by the Dragonite. Same goes with the Desolator Monkey King. And uh, just to give the added advantage to Secret, they'll hit that mid tier 2. So this trade off is pretty favorable to them right now. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Backdoor protection is up. Sorry, friends. You won't be able to finish that up. Your monkey, he desperately needs a BKB. He cannot fight. He does a lot of damage, but you can't do damage when you're dead. So you need a BKB before you fight now. Unless you get a really good initiation, like Blink Doom on uh, Luna or something. Then you could fight. And she's very vulnerable to that. She's got Manta now, though. So it's going to be really hard for Doom to get that Doom. Honor, unless he's got BKB. BGJ Storm are itching for a fight, but they've just lost the nighttime advantage. And Secret, they obviously change up their game pretty quickly. They went from playing that high ground left hand side of the map the entire time. Now they start pushing out. See if they run into any BGJ heroes. Doom's farmer stopped completely, just running around as a team. 
Necrobook one into Shana Blade for Beastmaster. Felt like he needed that item against the Arc Warden to catch him out, I guess. It's really good. Dark Warden dies. He's a very squishy hero. It's always been. Get the tower. Monkey King setting up for the Beastmaster here, trying to search for him. Doesn't find him. Plus, he doesn't have counter detection to be able to catch him. Uh -oh. Due to the shadow amulet, he's gonna spot him with the hawk. Mance cut down the trees. No, he dropped down just in time. And that is a huge difference. He's not gonna be stunned up. Primal Roar, man, to get off the ultimate. They're gonna try and jump in with the Dragonite. See if they can actually finish him up. But now the Dooms here rips him apart with the Infernal Blade. They just keep on trying to dive for him. But the Necronomicon unit can't do it. Mid one will survive on about 70 HP. That could have been so different. It's yeah. a little bit sad to watch. And that's my least favorite thing is that. You try and cut down trees against Monkey King, but all of his animations outside of the trees are super fast. Yeah. And then, yeah, War just comes in there, coming through and is dying. <laughs> that's that's so, so sad. Yeah. However, they do get all the bounty runes. So if you do the maps, it's not that bad for them. Bounty runes are worth not those two kills, but almost. Resolution going for Lincolns. Trying to deal with that doom. Understandable. Hey, Stream picked up from mid one. Snake King spotted that with his Shadow Blade. He knows if he gets doomed, they lose. They see Puppy rolling up. Puppy's just straight to the high ground. He's feeling like he could tank the gank and. Uh, Ogre Man? He actually doesn't quite die. The Spirit Vessel is taken away at him, but it's not quite enough. Giving as much vision as possible for Doom. But still, they're in a really bad spot. Like, they cannot fight without BKBs. If they take a team fight, they're gonna lose right now. So they just, just want these pickoffs. I think this got avoid. They almost have it. Doom needs to prioritize farming right now. I'm standing around looking. Because if he gets BKB before, then I guess Lincoln, they, they're gonna run over them in fights. Tempest double coming to the bottom lane to push it out. VGJ Storm probably just gonna kill it. Gotta make sure, even though it's there, it's like it sucks having to show a hero and everything for you. you gotta make sure this Tempest Double doesn't just get free farm. Or Ace, it's, it's got a mule near. Roche is up. It's very risky to go on it though. They have quick Roche, but it, it feels so risky here. If they smoke right now and contest this, that they don't have any BKB, it could be a disaster. They won't take uh, a whole lot of damage from Roshan, but with the darkness popped. Could probably have done it there, but it's they don't know that. They see a darkness, yeah. they got it back. They, they lose the game there if they to continue. Na nighttime's coming up after this darkness too, so. Whoa, Night Saka, they're gonna try and pop him with the Mystic Flare. They are successful, that's 450 gold for a very, ri uh, very rich Yapsor. Yeah. Seeing them doing a lot of work, a lot of games, so. Axe coming up soon. Smoke up. Secret still want to try and take this fight around the Roshan pit. Seems awfully risky. Or they at very minimum want to make sure that VJJ Storm can't sneak it themselves. It's all about Luna and the Doom here. How good Doom he gets is... I'm not sure what he's smoking, they don't want to fight, they're scared, but... This is a uh, classic Snake King, he's always going to look for the opening to push in that extra lane. Bottom lane is heading towards that tier 3, and maybe VGJ Storm just try and uh, poke at the high ground. See if they can force Secret out of position, but a Tempest double will protect it while the rest of the team Funnels inside that Roshan pit. Yeah, if they smoke now, so risky. It's going down fast. Yeah, they, they, they just gotta rush at it if they want to stop it. They're not in time. No. 
Maybe they can still try and take some sort of fight while the heroes are stuck inside of the Roshan pit. But Fada pops out. Immediately tries to go for it, but EKB activated do. by resolution. Fada loses his life. He's gonna, just gonna try and buy space. Midwan couldn't get it off. Oh, he couldn't get off the Wukong's command. He's gonna have to try again in his second life, but something tells me he's gonna get stunned up, or maybe not. He's gonna be able to jump away to the trees. They pull out the Dragonite, hit him with all the magic damage from the Mystic Flare. They jump back down, trying to save Ace. Man, to get the cheese off. Eclipse goes down. Resolution comes back into it, trying to go for Ace, but Ace battling up against Resolution. It's gonna be a close call. Resolution goes down, but Ace falls at almost the exact same time. An even fight, VGJ Storm. They kill the Arc Warden, which is so crucial for them. Arc Warden does 5,500 damage there. All right, didn't expect him to do that much damage. But <laughs> geez, Jesus, that guy dishes out damage. Luna doing more, of course, with her ult. Uh, VGJ Storm walk away with the win, according to the metrics. Almost uh, 2,500 gold exchange, uh, 7,000 experience for them off of that fight compared to the 5K for a secret. And considering the fact that when you're down like that, usually even fights, especially an Aegis fight too, always going to be kind of favorable to you. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. So that uh, fight again, so different if they have BKB there. Yeah. So different. And they have it almost now. Getting so close. Monkey's already got it. And we also see Skywrath pretty much got ads. And that's... He's gonna do so much damage if he's not killed. So much. It's just crazy. Right. Secret, they were so close to certain items and they were playing in nighttime as well and they still tried to go for that Roshan fight. Perhaps a uh, bit of deja vu from game one. This is not worth it to take that risk. If they just waited or, or if VGJ was, was there five seconds later, they would have wiped them and just taken a road from them. So risky. The puppy's a man. Making the calls right now. I got bloodlust. 300 health. Eight, 2,000 health right now. Puppy uh, was always one of the uh, the innovators on uh, picking up these support aura items. He goes for a Vlad's on his ogre. Surprised we don't see a buckler. Very surprised. Yeah. The hell? Spots the hawk. Kills it. Mid one doesn't want to stand in the trees for too long though. Arc Warden, you gotta be careful of this lane being pushed out in the top lane. They go ahead and use the glyph. They still want to try and take a fight here, and they might be able to. They're knowing the Tempest double is gonna fade soon. They're trying to force this tier one tower down, but the magnetic field is protecting it. The push is coming in from the illusions onto the tier three at the bottom wave at the same time. That does a good amount of chunk, a good chunk of damage, just like the uh, Arc Warden did. The two of them just kind of mirroring each other here. The difference is Arc Warden can keep doing this with his Tempest doubles. This is Finally, nice. Beastmaster is going to be forced back. Forced to it. And I'm going to get killed. Gets a lot more gold now. That's true. But he's hitting, uh, he's level 20 now. He's got uh, the attack range and he's got Pike now. Now he's ready to fight like properly. He can hit real fast and real long right now. So. Yeah, with and the... he got the BKBs now. Wait, oh, I went Crimson while I'm doing. Mm. Uh, I guess because Luna got Lincoln. He probably saw that, so he feels he can't do her anymore. Yeah. And he might as well just go Crimson Garden, but. Yeah, I guess it's fine. Luna is so far, though. I mean, don't you, can't you still just get BKB and get the uh, troll creep in Snare and Doom? Even if he popped BKB, it wouldn't matter. Yeah, I, I think it's better to go BKB and yeah, you get the creep that breaks the Lincoln. Um, but yeah, he decides to go for uh, Crimson Guard for some reason. And I just see him still just dying. Crimson Guard at this point. Point of time, Luna, she hits hard. She hits hard. She's 22k. There's the Daedalus for the Arc Warden, but he is now behind the net worth of the Luna. That's gonna get even worse, as eventually this tier one tower is gonna go. They've kept it alive for such a long, long while. It is now in deny range, though. Should probably deny it, for the love of God, 700 gold. 
Now it gives you vision, but it's better than I. Ace. Yeah, they want to fight right now. They, yeah, just, they, have, they have everything they have now. We got the Crimson Guard, we got the BKB Monkey, they got Daedalus. Now it's the time. It's daytime. MSS spots the smoke, flies away. Mid one can't catch him. Oh my lord. Smoke ruined, and now it's really hard to enforce it because they're split pushing. They have Arc Warden, can deal with it though. I'm not sure what they're waiting for right now. It feels like they have every everything. Like, are you gonna get a lot stronger than this? Not sure. Meanwhile, DK is catching up, but he's he's becoming a little bit scary now. Yeah, he gets the nullifier. That's gonna be problems. Like, cause they're waiting for this BKB on the Arc Warden, I think. But nullifier will potentially take that out of the game for him. Radiance top tower is under attack. Link, Shadowblade, Necronomicon for snaking, so a lot of different uh, initiation opportunities between the uh, the two of them. Like they want to try again? They don't have any smokes though, or uh, ogre? No, nope, no more smokes anymore. Really hard to find kills because of the night stalker. Even though it's daytime now, it's gonna be 30 second night. Blocked a lot of smokes. Very good player. And MSS has done that uh, bull series that we watch, yeah. right? It seems like he has a really strong understanding of what the enemy team wants to do with their uh, smoke rotations and how to position around it. And here you go, how play a team played 7k lead and they're still going high ground. Yeah. Not sitting safe and playing. Now they're going. Forcing. It's a lot of damage. DGJ Storm to do something about it. They've already broken the tier three. They can back up for the shrines. Oh, Warlock Golem going out. The initiation coming in from behind. Silence already on the base master, but he managed to get the stun on Ace. They need to get that back line, but mid one, he is standing strong. Resolution's going to be beaten back. Ace, he's going to be targeted from the side, though. The Dragon Knight managed to finish him off. He gets doomed up by Fada. Fada quite low. He will survive. It's still mid one, ready to breathe, but now there's too many heroes around him. Ace is bought back. He's going to try and save him with the magnetic field. Not going to be good enough. Ace slowing down Resolution. Hurricane Bike. Skyrath Mage. Drop the ultimate, Resolution will end up falling. They do have a buyback for him. He can match Ace if he wants to. And he will to make sure they don't lose anything out of this. Now they're going to TP in. If they actually catch Ace, it would be massive. But Yapsir will slow him down with a concussive shot. Doesn't look like they should be able to as Ace gets down the trees. Spotted by Snaking. They start they getting on top back. of him. They need somehow to be able to stop this. He can't afford a die back here, but he will fall anyway. Oh boy. Unbelievable secret. One and a half minute. They may have just lost themselves a lane of racks, perhaps worse. Yeah, this is a Luna with, with, uh, with Master Madness. This is gonna go down real quick. And Monkey's in no position to fight here. He's not that strong. Yep. No doom either. This is terrible. Maybe he can hold Mystic Player. Oh, there's going to be the Night Stalker going down. But the fight is still going to be favorable for VJ Storm. They even stunned the highest HP hero in Vada. Mass buybacks coming out. They're going to try and catch some of these heroes. Resolution cannot afford to die here. Mid one getting off that ultimate. They need to be able to keep them inside of the Wukong's command. Most of them Hurricane Pike out, though. It's only going to be the Dragonite who ends up dying. Victim to the Monkey King ultimate. Team Secret will hold for now, though. They're going to try and chase some extra heroes. Yapsir gets off the concussive shot. Uh -oh. Staking, turning, fighting, blinking away. Scaring Yapsir out. They manage to get to the shrine. Activates it. Resolution has a hurricane bike up in one second time, so he's going to be fine. Man, these team fights, all these buybacks by Secret, they are not afraid to use buybacks. No. And they need to, if they don't try to do or do something, they, those racks is melt but they commit everything they have there to save that rex which is probably worth it a huge boost in experience from these last couple engagements we now have a level 25 luna with the lifesteal butterfly coming in soon too and we're seeing how monkey king is kind of falling off it doesn't seem that scary to me the yeah. beast method, the last initiated in the mid beast method coming in from behind doing so well it's a lot about sky right now as well he does so much damage right now. If he gets a good team fight, he can win them the game. It'll be a really big upgrade, though, if he can finish off the uh, level 25. 
and get the extra command ring. Oh yeah, that, that would be really good. It's level 22, you should probably buy him the book for it. Look at him, how quickly they take Roshan, Jesus. All right. And it's gonna be Aegis, Four cheese. And was that refresher shard as well? Can't, yeah, yeah, refresher shard for Doom. So double Doom for VGJ Storm to worry about, especially when there is no buybacks available for them. And L Warlock all going in. Oh, bye, Snaking, bye. Already managed to get the Primal War on the back lines, but Wukong's command will zone back the rest of EGJ Storm so they can deal with the Doom first. They take him out, now poking at mid one, but they just cannot get inside of that monkey ring. All right. So committing a lot for that. They thought they, they could win the game there if they just got a good fight, but they got Aegis and Cheese. Yeah. The. Uh, Trade out offlaners. Scotty next up for the Monkey King. All right, starting to skip the the butterfly. Uh, I say when he gets 25, that's going to be a big, big difference. I'm not sure. Did anyone buy the book? If not, they should definitely give it to him at this point. Yeah. Look at Arc Warren's 25. It's not as powerful. You got 30% life steal. I would assume he would get. It's nice, but not a game changer like Monkey King. 25. Warlock's not hitting 20 though. That that's pretty scary. You don't like the uh, the spark wraith damage? No, not so much. He's he's going to right kicker build. You want life on just man up. Yeah. I think it's not bad, but I don't think he would go it. He's trying to complete a Lincoln, so this Beastmaster can't just jump in and roar him like he's been doing time and time again. Every single time, he just feels like he doesn't do that much damage in these fights because he has to. His natural re reaction is always to try and retreat because the Beastmaster threat, once he gets that Lincoln, so it'll be a lot different for him. Dyer's top has fallen. <laughs> trying to get blade mail for uh, MSS's Night Stalker so he can at least return some damage onto that Skyrath Mage that's been blowing him up with these Mystic Flares. That Aghanim Scepter has been doing work, and it's going to do even more work if he can get to level 25. He's actually not that far away from it. Yeah, more realistic though. Ogre, Ogre is getting uh, 20 now, which is going to be Bloodlust attack speed. Uh, yeah. Really good again for Monkey King. More attacks faster. Jingo Mastery, kill everyone. Thing for Arc Warden, he really needs this. That uh, attack speed is so crucial on this hero. We got another fight here. Beastmaster is really important. He gets a good roar. We've seen that impactful dooms, but he's got a refresh shot now. Double, double doom. Still needs a BKB. A little bit questionable going to the Crimson Guard, in my opinion. Nice double damage for the Arc Warden. Time to hit that, uh, time to hit that high ground. With advantage like this. All right, let's see what we got. You need to stop the Doom. Doom cannot cast two ults, because you'll lose then. You need to make sure the Doom does not get to do that. Got no BKB, so it shouldn't be that hard. But if it's gonna be activated, double damage will not last for too much longer. It's gonna start with the upheaval. Now Ace will have the Hurricane Pike to be able to get out of this range. So they're just gonna give up the melee racks instead of fighting into the double damage. Range racks will fall as well. BGJ Storm just don't want to fight into an Aegis. Yeah, and Cheese and Double Doom, right? It's, it's, it's yeah. pretty scary. As soon as Doom gets his BKB, that's, that's when it's gonna get real scary. If he just dooms DK as well, if these heroes doom is such a good ability, he's also 20, so it does so much damage now. So much damage. 95 per second. Pure. Definitely a 100 because he's got uh, intelligence. It's 1,600 pure damage. And you look at Luna, she's almost dead from that. The Hawks scouting things out right now. Spotted by the ogre, though. Early vision already set down by VGJ Storm. Radiant. 
Agent are scanning. They drew a line like they were gonna wrap around and try and catch Secret by going through that offlane jungle area, but uh, decided against it. They just running out now. Just Dying. wait for the BKB on Doom and then, then you'll win the game. No backdoor protection, so three hits on the range racks. That's value right there. Necro. Smoke up. BKB's they need ready. something to work Send here for this BKB. night time. Hey, Zolmos out of position. They try and go for the stun onto the Monkey King. Fails. You are going to be chased away. The Warlock Golem is going to be able to create a little bit of space. They throw the stun down. Now the Wukong's command out for mid one. He's trying to finish off. You are fighting. Managed to get the stun out. Doom unable to get the good initiation. Resolution gets off the BKB Eclipse. He's trying to get the damage on in mid one. He's just not getting it. The Jingle Mastery might be able to heal up. But cheese activated. Resolution has to retreat with the buybacks coming in. They can provide some reinforcements to him, but they need to get there fast. Resolution chased away, opens up the Roshan pit or more for Team Secret. Yeah, that's two buybacks, and they're just too strong with eight. Uh, they didn't have age of the cheese. Yeah. The monkey and baiting were hard there. And they didn't get to that back line. Divine Rapier being queued up by Resolution right now. Arc Warden did so much damage that fight. It was just bombarding them. And they're going to go Five straight backs. into that bottom lane of Rax. The rest of the buybacks being blown now by DJJ Storm. Zoom. Global concussion shot. Just an illusion. Just an illusion, guys. And well. It <laughs> has the power to kill any of these heroes. They're playing around the fountain. Again, snaking, always trying to get into that back line. It's currently sitting a bit behind Secret right now. Yeah, still Doom has. His double ult didn't get off any last time. Sitting on BKB gold. He just wants uh, buyback. Guess that's uh, fair enough, but here we go. Finally. 46 minutes in, he decides to go ahead. Feels bad, man. Now he's going to be kind of unstoppable, right? Maybe they just have to prime of war Doom now. Honestly, you just Doom anyone at this point. You Doom with the two people with ball back, you just win the game. BKB jumped to DK. I don't care if you use everything. Just do him and you just hit him and you, you win. There's maybe the game ending item one way or another. This Divine Rapier for Resolution. This game is so easy right now for Doom. He, he's, he can win the game single handedly almost right now. Yeah. Monkey King, we got the Wu Command Ring. I don't think I've seen anyone go armor. It's not very good. It's pretty, it's pretty insane, but it's not that good. And here we go. Here we go. They need to get a strong initiation on this Monkey King. Prevent him from being able to jump in and get the Wukong's command. Managed to get the jump in stun on the fauna. See if they can blow him up. Resolution trying to get the damage out. He's getting kited a little bit. Finally, he activates that Eclipse. But Ace is turning. He's just taking him apart. The Divine Rapier's on the deck. And that's it. BGJ Storm. They lose this game, too. They are going to be shaking their heads. Secret. They may have thrown the game a little bit, but they still close it out when needed. Can't say the same about BGJ Storm in that game one. Yeah, to be honest, they look pretty good in both games if you take away the, the horrible parts. <laughs> <laughs> but, but like game one, they look they look dominating. They yeah. dominate them 20k lead and then they throw it away. This game, they're really far behind, but somehow they're still getting into the game. Down into 4k lead or something, so...